right, we're just going to look at a quick refresher on how to solve a system by graphing. All right, the first thing that you need to do is get your equations into slope-intercept form. y equals mx plus b. Reminder, b is your y-intercept and m is your slope, which is the change in y over the change in x. Neither of them are in slope-intercept form. So, my very first one, I need to bring the x on the other side by subtraction. And then I'm going to divide everything by negative 4. So this will give me my new equation where y is equal to that 16 divided by negative 4 is going to be negative 4. And we also brought an x over here, so he was a minus x. But I had to divide everything by negative 4. So when it's divided by a negative, and it already was negative x divided by negative 4, this will become plus x over 4. This other one's easy. All i got to do is bring the, negative, bring the 3x over. So my slope-intercept form is y equals 9 minus 3x. All right, so to graph these, what I need to do is first I'm going to look at their y-intercept. My first one, y equals negative 4 plus x over 4. My y-intercept for this guy is going to be at negative 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. So you see what I did was, I look at my y-axis, because he's negative 4, I'm in my negative y values, and I go to negative 4. All right, my other equation, let's use purple for him, he has a y-intercept of positive 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. He is all the way up top here in the positive range, because once again, his y-intercept is positive. The next thing I'm going to look at are my slopes. So now, my very first equation has a slope of 1 fourth. You know, there's really an invisible 1x over 4. So that means that I'm going up one spot on the y and across by 4. So using my original blue dot, I went up 1 and I'm going to go over 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. I go up 1 and over 4. And now, as you can see, I'm kind of off the paper. But I also got to go in the other direction. But since I'm going in the other direction, I'll go down 1 and over 4. He's approximately right there. This Rudolph's graph is a little bit off, so please forgive me. It's okay. All right, now i got to do with the purple equation, my purple line. Now, he has a slope of negative 3. So that's really being divided by 1. So my y will go down by 3, and my x will go over 1. So I'm going to go down 3, so 1, 2, 3, over 1. Down 3, over 1. Let's go down 3, over 1. Another time, down 3, over 1. Another time, another time. So, I can now connect my dots. Sorry, this is cooking. But we essentially just solved our system of equations because our intersection point will be our solution. And just by looking at our graph, our solution is at 4, negative 3. So 4, negative 3, our point of intersection.